Women wanted him. Men wanted to be him. He burst onto the scene and changed the world. He will forever be known as the king. These are all just causes for war. Of England, Ireland, and France, Golden Globe winner Jonathan Rhys Myers is King Henry VIII as you've never seen him before in the extraordinary new Showtime original series, The Tudors. Henry was the rock star of his time. <laughs> Great looking guy, physically fit, really sort of sexy bloke, and power. The young Henry VIII was everything a woman could possibly want. Written by Michael Hurst, who wrote the critically acclaimed film Elizabeth, The Tudors is set at a time when Henry VIII was a handsome, athletic, and charming 25-year-old. Ladies, you've got the Hans Holbein portraits of Henry as this big, robust, leg of lamb eating, beer drinking guy. They wanted a fresh sort of, you know, just a fresh sort of youthful impetuousness to this Henry. And I wanted a new Henry. We have a young man who inherits power at a very young age. Absolute power. Henry is a young man. He has an appetite for war. If you had absolute God-given power, how would you use it? A 20-something Henry VIII used it as you would expect, complete with a hyper-sex drive, an ultra-competitive nature, I want a rematch! and a loyal entourage. It was basically four of us, like a brat pack. You're either in the king's court or you're not. And if you're not, you're poor and smelly. Wherever they are, that's where the party is. You couldn't ask for a better place to be the best friend of a king. You're untouchable. What we were trying to portray, look, the, the great times that they have and the riches that they can spend and the women that they can sleep with. While Henry slept with his fair share of ladies in waiting, one in particular waited in the wings and played hard to get, Anne Boleyn. She was pushed by her father, who's a very devious manipulator, into flirting with Henry. But I think that she genuinely fell in love with him. I think Anne really stood out. Fire and intelligence and boldness that in comparison to the English roses that were flopping around court. Henry noticed that. She's intelligent, she can carry a conversation. There's just something about Anne Boleyn that captures his his, his spirit captures his loins. I desire you with all my heart. I think it's the age-old story of you want what you can't have, and she pushed it to the extreme, and of course promised him a son. A son that his wife, Queen Catherine, could not provide. I cannot give the king a living son. He really wanted to cement his dynasty with a male heir. While he certainly wasn't a faithful husband, she loved him. But really, she absolutely believed that it was her destiny to reign as the Queen of England. She could not see any other way for it to be. But Henry VIII did see it another way. He wanted Anne for a wife and put his trust in his chancellor, Cardinal Thomas Wolsey, to make it happen. I want a divorce, and you will get one for me. While his trusted friend, the idealist Thomas More, looked the other way. Henry admired him. He admired More. More was all the good in the world in many ways, but moore has got his own demons. After all, I'm merely your majesty's humble servant. There are, I suppose, certain question marks over why such a pure idealist would be involved in politics at all. Whereas Wolsey is totally different, without scruples. Wolsey is corrupt, so Henry doesn't have to be. And Wolsey did have a kind of father figure function in Henry's life as well as being uh, an, an extremely astute politician. Your eminence has ways of pacifying the young lion. But finally, as happened very often in the reign of Henry VIII, things started to go awry. And as happens very often, the reign of Henry VIII is misunderstood. People, generally speaking, don't know a lot about him. He was young once, he was in love, he had issues about divorce and money, uh, like everyone else does. Unlike anyone else who played the role, Jonathan Rhys Myers makes Henry VIII real, identifiable, sympathetic, and above all, human. I have a son. They could have casted a, you know, a six-foot guy with blonde hair, but they saw something in me that they liked for their Henry, and that I could create something that was quite different to anything that had been seen before. And he has. See the poet, the athlete, the statesman, the lover, the rock star of his time. Jonathan Rhys Myers is Henry VIII in the epic new Showtime original series, The Tudors.